Hi, my name is Lonnie and this is Arduino Basic Training Part 1. We're going to start off by installing the Arduino development environment on our Mac here. And as you can see, I'm at arduino.cc. I'm going to click on Download. And I'm going to find the appropriate version, which is the Mac OS X version in my case. And I can see it downloading up here pretty rapidly. Should be back, should be done in just a few seconds here. Okay, so, oh, whoops. Go ahead and just minimize this a little bit. And we can just drag the Arduino file wherever we like. I'm just going to run it from the desktop here. And we are ready to go. So, to run Arduino, simply just drag it wherever you'd like to put it, double click it, and it is running. So, very good. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the hardware itself that we're going to be using. And as you can see here, I have the small version of the Arduino. This is called the Nano. And this is comparable, this hardware is actually comparable to the larger, much larger Uno. Which let me back out. We'll get a look at that. The, these two pieces of hardware are actually the same. Uh, they both have the 328 chip, the Atmega 328 chip. The difference is the Nano is cheaper and it's a lot smaller. Um, most people recommend that beginners start with the Arduino Uno, but I like the Nano just because you can actually put it right into the breadboard like this and whenever you're ready to pack your project up, you can just pick the whole breadboard up and go. With the Uno, you have wires going in between the Uno and the breadboard, so it's a little more cumbersome. I like how you can fit it all in one package, and like I said, it is cheaper, uh, and you have the same amount of power there. On this particular version, too, you also have the capability of running in a 3.3 or 5-volt mode. Let's see if you, can, you guys can see that switch there, which can be good because some... Back out a little bit. That, that switch, I don't know if you guys can see it. But that, yeah, there we go. That enables you to switch between 3.3 and 5 volt operation. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I am going to go ahead and connect our Nano to a USB cable. And I don't know what program is currently running, but we'll take a look at the Mac now. And let's look at a few settings first of all. And this is something you have to be aware of. You need to make sure you have your board selected, the correct board that you're using, which in my case it is, the Arduino Nano with Atmega 328. And also you'll need to ensure that your serial port is set up correctly. And in my case, again, it is. It's this uh, dev TTY.usb serial. And if you do have issues with those drivers, you can go to the Arduino website for support for that. Um, Sometimes you may have to install the drivers, especially on the Mac version here. So uh, let's go ahead and upload our first sketch. And we'll go ahead and load the blink example here. And this is simply going to blink an LED. And we're not even going to look at the code yet. We're just going to go ahead and look at a few of the controls here. This little uh, box here for verify, you click on that, it'll actually compile the sketch, check the code, make sure there's no errors, tell you how big the compiled version of the code is or how much room it's going to take of the flash uh, storage on your chip. And in this case, we can see it's going to take just over a K, and, but it doesn't actually upload it. You press this button and it compiles and uploads your sketch for you. And if we look at the Arduino at this point, 
we should see a flash and we did not so looks like we have a little error here I actually had this happen before with this particular chip I don't know if there's an issue with that chip or what but the fix that worked last time was actually putting in a different chip now this, these are two different nanos I have here and let me double check and see okay you can see it's uploading fine now and now that blink is what we want to see from the sketch should be going high or on for about a second and then turning off for a second and let's go ahead and see if we can get this other one to program go back to tools select that port and upload it just looks like we are having a little problem with this guy oh it's taking it now okay oh no it's a little sketchy but there it's running and you can see it's running at a uh, thousand milliseconds and we'll go ahead and take a quick look at the program now uh, see up top here we, we basically have three major parts of any program you have the global part up here at the top which runs before anything else and anything you do in this area whether it be uh, you know you're including a library declaring variables things like that that's going to apply to the entire sketch. So here we're declaring an integer variable called LED and setting it equal to 13. Okay. And this portion is called the setup. And in the setup, it just you put code that just needs to run one time. And in this case, we're just setting the pin mode for port number 13 because LED is 13 as an output so we're telling the Arduino that that pin is going to be used as an output and that's all it's doing pretty simple now this is the loop portion and anything you put in the loop portion of an Arduino program is going to run over and over and over until you either uh, power the power the Arduino off uh, and that's pretty much the only way uh, and in this portion here you can see we're doing a digital write to LED comma high basically that's turning the LED on we're delaying a thousand which is in milliseconds so that's basically a second and then we're going to turn it low or set it low and then wait a second so it's going to be on for a second off for a second and then it's going to do all over again and just as a proof of concept here, if we set this at 100, then that should be 100 milliseconds. So it should be 10 times faster. We'll upload the code. And we'll watch here. And you can see it blinking at a much, much faster rate. And then we'll go ahead and do 50 milliseconds. Make it twice as fast here. Do another upload and it's really blinking away and then now we'll go with 5,000 milliseconds which is five seconds and there you go so that is our first Arduino sketch there and I do want to, before we wrap this first video up, I do want to show you guys a little something about the breadboard here since we're going to be using this extensively in our future, future projects here. Um, the way the breadboard works, it lets you easily make interconnections between components. 
and you'll notice there's um, all these little holes here and then there's these uh, small holes here next to the red and the blue lines you'll notice there's a the line goes and then there's a break here in the line that's significant uh, also you'll notice there's a big canal here in the middle between these two sides so basically the way a breadboard works is all of the lines in the same row like if we look at this 35 here and we go all, all these holes right here are all interconnected so if I put a wire let's say I have a wire here that's connecting to some component over here okay. if I want to then take the output of this wire and go to somewhere else I can connect to it either here 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 or here it's all the same output okay and you know it is important to note that that connection does not extend across this middle part here that actually does break the connection so you can these these are two different connection points which you jump across and also of course this is a different connection also so that is how that works now the power instead of being connected horizontally like this the power shares going vertically so all of these pins here are connected to they say negative but it's to whatever signal you put there and all of these pins here are also connected now they don't jump across here so you can jump them if you want using a jumper wire but uh, these are electrically different from these so we have all, all of these connections connections in here share horizontal connections these connectors here are vertical connections so this will start to make more sense as we uh, as we work on more projects though in the future just wanted to touch on that real quick uh, thanks for watching the next episode hope you join us uh, thanks for watching the first episode rather hope you join us for the next one bye bye